why use a just resolution process? Early in my ministry experience of walking with persons related to complaints of sexual misconduct, I was struck with how disempowering and dehumanizing church processes can be. It is only natural to want to move to a resolution when there is a potential breach of trust, disappointment and grief related to a colleague, or tragic loss and regret related to harm to individuals and communities. I am a proponent of the just resolution process because I believe that it provides a way to engage in the holy work of repairing breaches of trust and harm, tending relationships, achieving real accountability, and opening paths of healing for all. Those who have been harmed may have the opportunity to experience a sense of safety, empowerment through participation, giving voice to their experience, being heard, finding restitution and vindication, embracing a healing path, reconnecting with community, seeking self-determined outcomes. Those who have harmed or breached trust may be provided a context for being aware of and acknowledging harm, coping with self, guilt, or shame, being seen as a person in context, sharing in decisions about making things right, making things right, real accountability, personal transformation or healing, being reintegrated into community, though not necessarily the clergy covenant. Those in the community may be provided with opportunities for safety, supporting and assisting those harmed, holding those who have perpetrated harm accountable, working to repair relationships and reintegrate persons into community, addressing larger systemic issues, and healing. The process itself can provide a measure of grace and healing with God's help. I welcome your insights and questions as you carry out your particular roles in the complaint process. Thank you.